what we want to do is try to explain to you how to remove the wiggle out of a paddle. There's a very slight wiggle about an eighth of an inch that's caused by um, a hole in the mold of the handle and that hole is down center from the tee and what happens when they pinch the um, pinch the sleeve uh, the place they pinched it was right next to the hole so if the handle is hit it moves itself into that tiny little hole and allows it to just move an eighth of an inch it won't progressively get any worse it stays at an eighth of an inch and that's that's what you're left with if uh, in order to prevent this wiggle we have to drill a hole and put a rivet in it um, and you wouldn't want to put the hole where the mold hole is you'd want to put the hole in the side here and we've already put a hole in this area right there and that's uh, where we'll show you how to uh, place the rivet in doing that we've um, we're using an eighth inch drill bit and um, eighth inch steel rivets you want to stick with steel not uh, aluminum aluminum's too soft and pliable and will potentially work itself out of the hole okay. now to drill your hole into the paddle um, you want to come down one inch from where the blue moves to orange that has still a good base the inside here goes about another two or three inches um, so we chosen the drill press because it's more accurate you can get a straighter hole um, if you use just a regular drill it's gonna you're gonna find that the hole is gonna get a little sloppy because just drilling straight down you're gonna have some movement so we've chosen this and we're gonna go in a half an inch um, and then if you find at go ahead and do one paddle and then if you find that's su sufficient go ahead and mark your drill bit with a pen or a piece of uh, tape and that way you know your depth so I'm gonna go ahead and drill this one down Make sure you're using a steel rivet then placing the rivet in make sure it's flush with the, the paddle and insert the gun and while you're squeezing the trigger put pressure on there to keep that grommet flush with the paddle and then break it off and then and there you have it it's flush and no twist. Okay, so you're removing a rivet. Um, the best thing I found is to go ahead and try to loosen it up. Um, go ahead and put your handle on the concrete and kick it, or hit it around on the concrete a little bit there. Um, that will maybe, if there is any play, it'll free it up. So then what we have, um, you want to get a good pair of vice grips, and you don't want to close them up all the way, you want to just have maybe a sixteenth of an inch, um, I'll come on this side here, and you grab a hold, and you don't want to crimp it too hard because you're going to snap the head off, and once the head is off, then you're going to have troubles drilling it. So once you get a grip on your head, just like that there, you want to go ahead and twist it around, loosen it up, and then just put a little bit of force, go ahead and pull it out, it comes off, go ahead and tighten it back up. And there we have it. There's your rivet out of the hole. That is your complete rivet. Um, so now that you've extracted your aluminum rivet, you can go ahead and place your steel rivet back in there and go ahead and crimp it. For instance, this paddle here has been riveted with an aluminum rivet. 
Um, what we're going to go ahead and we're, this one's flush with the surface. It's good, but we're going to reinforce it with a steel. So go ahead and go opposite of that rivet. Like I said, in line with the handle shaft straight down. Um, we've gone ahead and drilled the hole. So you want to place a steel rivet in there and go ahead and crimp it. Um, so your end result, you're having an aluminum rivet on one side and a steel rivet on the opposite side. So for instance, say your rivet has snapped off, um, you can go ahead and proceed. Let's just for instance say this is snapped off the head of it. You can go ahead and proceed to drill that out. Um, just using your drill press there. You know, like I said, go in about a half inch. Move it. Now you're ready to go ahead and replace it with a steel rivet. Um, or another option would be if your rivet is snapped off inside of there, you can go ahead and proceed and put one on the opposite side.